Today, I'm going to show you guys the 12 best mods for your survival world in Mind Test. These mods have been tried and true throughout the years and are going to make survival mode in Mind Test a hundred times better. Because let's be honest, in normal Mind Test game, there's not really anything to do in survival mode, but these mods will fix that problem by adding new things to find when exploring, mopes, and new awesome looking decor, among many other things. Make sure to watch this video to the very end, because all these mods are really great, but they're going to be even better if you use one of the very last mods that I'm going to show you in this video. Make sure to subscribe, because we've made tons of videos about Mindsys mods, and are going to continue to make them. Anyways, let's get right into it. Number 1. The first few mods we're looking at today are going to be mode related. So our first mod for today is the Animalia mod. This has got to be my favorite animal mod so far in Mind Test. The visuals of this mod are really awesome looking, and all of the animals added in this mod are very well featured. So, this is a must have mod for your survival world to bring some animal life into the world. Number 2 Now that we've got animals in the game, we're going to need some monsters to even things out. And as of right now, I'd say the best monster mod out there is Mobs Monster. This mod adds a variety of monsters to the game, sometimes these guys will just be weak dirt monsters, and sometimes they can almost be mini bosses. This mod is definitely going to make your survival world much more challenging because let's be honest, in default mind test, it's almost impossible to even die. So make sure to check out this most monsters mod, it's been tried and true throughout the years, I think you're going to enjoy it. Number 3 the third mob mod we're looking at today is the Goblins mod. And yes, I know, I've mentioned this in so many of our videos. These guys are usually passive and you can actually trade with them. So it's a good idea to actually trade with these guys because sometimes you could get some really useful items like their homegrown mushrooms or some really crazy things like used diamond pickaxes. I really like how these guys look and it's kind of cool because it really seems like they're living creatures trying to get stuff accomplished. So make sure to check out the Goblins mod. It's going to be great for your survival world. Number 4. Now that we've gone through the mobs mods, you're going to probably be constantly threatened by monsters in your world. Well, that's where the 3D armor mod comes in. This is basically a must have if you're going to have monsters in your world. Because some of these monsters get really tough to beat and you just have to have a huge stack of food or something to keep you healed. But the armor that 3D armor adds is very useful, there's tons of varieties for all levels in the game. So even in the beginning of the game, you might have a nice set of wood armor, but as you dig deeper into the earth and start finding diamonds, diamond armor is going to be very nice to have when you're fighting off dungeon masters. So once again, this mod is basically a must have if you're going with the route of adding monsters to your world. So make sure to check out 3D armor. Number 5. The fifth mod we're looking at today is the More Ores mod. This mod adds silver and mithril to the game, which is going to be nice in survival so at least there's some new ores to work for and try to find. And mithril is actually much stronger than diamond, but it's super rare. So it's going to give you an ore that's going to be very hard to find, but very rewarding if you do find it. So make sure to check out this mod, it's going to add some new ores to your game, so mining and survival is a little more interesting now. Number 6. Ethereal is probably one of the best bio mods out there right now for mine tests. And is a mod that's going to make exploring in your survival world much more interesting. This mod adds a lot of new fantasy biomes into the game that most times provide you with some pretty cool building blocks and sometimes very useful materials. It's going to challenge you in survival to explore your world more and also try out some of the new things this mod provides. So make sure to get Ethereal, it's going to make exploring in your survival world much better. Number 7. Speaking of exploring, we're going to be looking at the Hang Glider mod next. This mod is a very simple mod that adds a new item to the game, a hang glider. This is going to help you travel much faster because if you can jump off of a huge mountain, you can travel so many blocks in a short amount of time with this hang glider. And also if you're quick on your feet and you're falling and about to hit the ground and die, you can actually activate this hang glider very quickly and use it as a parachute, which can sometimes be a real lifesaver. This mod really just adds a whole new fun aspect to the game because using these hang gliders is very fun for exploring your world. Number 8. The 8th mod we're looking at today is the Nither mod. Now when this mod was first published, there was not much in it. But now, over the years, it has become a very awesome mod that adds a new dimension to the world. This fiery dimension is pretty dangerous to explore, but has the reward of actually being able to get a new ore called Nither Ore, which creates very powerful tools and weapons. This mod is going to be very nice because now not only can you explore underground and above ground, but also an entirely new dimension. 
This adds a new fun exploration challenge into the game, and I very much so recommend this mod. Number 9. The ninth mod we're looking at today is the awards mod. This mod adds a way of achievements into the game, so now by doing certain tasks, you will unlock achievements. Now some of these achievements are very simple, like just digging a few pieces of grass, and some of these are nearly impossible, like building thousands of blocks. This mod's gonna be very nice for your mind to survive a world, because you'll be challenged to unlock all these achievements, which let me tell you is gonna take some time. Number 10. The 10th mod we're gonna be looking at is the i3 inventory mod. Now before I explain to you what this mod exactly does, I want to remind you, if you've watched this far in the video, make sure you do stick around to the very end, because even though all these mods I've shown you so far are very awesome, our very last mod is small, but I think one of the most important mods to have on your survival world to make things more interesting. But anyways, the i3 mod is an inventory mod that adds a very cool looking inventory to the game that allows you to look up crafting recipes and do all sorts of things very easily. This mod even adds some very cool features that other inventory mods don't have, like very specific inventory sorting, and also you can even customize the font. Overall, I think i3 is probably the best inventory mod out there for mine test because it has a very cool looking appearance and is easy to use. So, this mod is a 10 out of 10 for your survival world. Number 11. Our second to last mod we're looking at today is the Exocore mod. This mod is a very nice decoration mod, and now that you've been surviving in your world, you're gonna want to work on making your house look much nicer. And Exocore is a perfect mod for that. It adds new building blocks to the game, and not only that, but some very nice looking decoration blocks that fit the game's textures perfectly. And also, some of these blocks are actually functional, like the chessboard, an enchanting table, and much more. So give this mod a go, if you haven't tried this mod before, I know you're gonna really love it. And finally, number 12. The last mod we're looking at today is small, but probably one of the most important mods for your survival world. And this is the Stanima mod. This mod adds Minecraft-like hunger and sprinting to the game, which is a very good addition to your survival world and is going to bring all these mods I've mentioned today together. This is a very nice mod to have for all of you who've been looking for a hunger mod that also adds sprinting to the game. So definitely make sure to check out this mod, it's a very important addition to add to your survival world. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned about some of the best mods to put on your survival world. One thing I would like to mention though, is that I wasn't able to go over very many mods that make exploring in your survival world more interesting, so make sure to check out these two videos also. They're going to be able to cover some mods that's going to make exploring in your mind world much more interesting. Anyways, God bless you guys and have a great day.